our mission is to help everyone learn more about mental health and psychology in a digestible way. And you help us do that. So thank you. Have you ever gotten stuck with a bad teacher? Education is one of the most important fields in the world today, and teachers stand at the center. Effective teachers can transform the lives of their students, acting as role models, leaders, and mentors. Yet, many students are surrounded by teachers who are passive and biased. The worst part is, students rarely ever realize what they're missing. Here are six signs that you have a bad teacher. One, they're judgmental. They don't treat all the students the same and pick which students to focus more of their time on. Everyone should be treated equally. Does your teacher end class early? Do you spend the last 15 minutes talking amongst yourselves? This is a common sign of a lazy teacher. These teachers rush to the end of their lesson without thinking about their students. In their minds, the class ends when the lesson ends, but there are always new avenues to explore. In the last 15 minutes, your teacher could solve practice problems, explain new concepts, or simply field questions from the class. There is always more to learn. Running out the clock is never the answer. Number two, they're unavailable. Does your teacher encourage students to ask for help? Do they schedule time for individual meetings and office hours? According to a 2015 study by Mupa and Sunoneka, effective teachers make themselves available throughout the day. In other words, a good teacher doesn't quit when the bell rings. They encourage students to approach them with questions and concerns. Why? Because these teaching moments speed up the learning process. Good teachers take advantage of every opportunity to educate, while bad teachers are never available. Number three, they grade slowly. Is your teacher a slow grader? Does it take weeks to get back tests and quizzes? Bad teachers drag their feet throughout the grading process. It may be tedious, but getting feedback is essential for you, their students. When a teacher assigns homework, you expect them to hand that homework back to you. Otherwise, how can you be sure that you've learned anything? If you have to ask your teacher over and over again for your grades, your teacher isn't holding up their end of the bargain. Number four, they play favorites. Does your teacher have a favorite student? Do they give some students special privileges? You'd be surprised how often this happens. Many teachers develop strong relationships with students through clubs and sports, and their familiarity changes their dynamic in the classroom. They'll favor familiar students over students they don't know as well. In the mind of a good teacher, every student carries the same weight as their peers. Equality should be a bare essential in the classroom. Anything else isn't fair to you or your classmates. Number five, your class underperforms. Is your entire class struggling? Every course is difficult for different people. Some students excel in math, others flourish in history, but once in a while there's a class that makes every student struggle. But the problem isn't the class, it's the teacher. If the average of your class is well below the rest of the school, your teacher isn't doing their job. A low average is a reflection of the teacher's ability to teach. In these impossible classes, teachers create assignments that their students aren't prepared for. They fail because their instructor isn't explaining the information well enough. The simple truth is, your teacher is not helping you learn. Number six, they oversimplify. An exceptionally high average isn't a good thing either. Some teachers want their students to succeed, but don't challenge them enough to learn. Instead, they oversimplify difficult concepts and avoid giving extra work, turning their course into an easy A or a blow-off class. Many students gravitate towards these classes to boost their grade point average. An easy class seems like more fun than a hard class, but easy classes are more punishing in the long run. While you may get a higher grade, you're not actually learning anything, but that isn't your fault. It's the teacher's responsibility to push and challenge their students. Otherwise, students will leave the class with a lackluster understanding of the subject, almost like they never took the class at all. According to a 2004 text by Lauren, this is especially dangerous for lower level courses. These classes should teach you the basics, which you build upon later. If your teacher fails to communicate these ideas early on, you're going to struggle at higher levels. Even if you're exceptionally bright, you may fall behind other students 
simply because they had better teachers. Have you ever encountered a bad teacher? How did you know? What would you have done differently? Having a good teacher inspires us to pursue life more passionately and with purpose. However, a toxic teacher affects your grade, your mental health, and your future. Tell us about your experiences in the comment section below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more psychology content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.